Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn some more details about this append child method. So let's try to see about this append child method before going on to these other methods. So just we'll cover some more topics, uh, some more concept in this append child method. Let's discuss about this append child method a bit more detail. So in a bit more detail, let's try to discuss about this one. We know that append child using this method attaches elements to the parent. So append child method is used to only attach the element to the parent. So that means first we need to catch the parent. Then only afterwards we can append the newly created element using the append child method to the parent. <clears throat> Importantly that it always adds the element to become the last child of the parent. So one thing what we need to remember is whenever you are using the append child method, if you observe it always add that newly created element as the last child of that parent so to which parent you want to append this one so it will be always attaches to the last child for example if i want to show you a demo in our previous example here see so this is our previous example right so this is the body which we taken as the parent if you try to observe our code so this is our code first we created a newly element and we have added this inner html normally we use the text content so let's replace it with text content okay and we have created a body so we have we have uh, we have traversed to the body and we have catch the body so this body is nothing but the parent and we need to use this body in this body we need to append this one as a child so now whenever you are using this append child always the element which you are trying to attach it the new element the create a new element it will be added as the last child so that is what i want to explain you here if you try to see the p element is added as the last child here the h1 and the script the script is nothing but the code which we have written the code which we have written so this is also one children to the body only but when we use this append child this one has been added as the last child don't think about the script thing the script is injected by the live server so there is nothing known there is nothing done do with the with the do with this code so here this is the thing so paragraph element has been added as the last child of that parent now Let's go to our thing. So that is what I want to explain you here that the pay the newly created element always it will become the last child of the parent. So this is one thing you need to understand. So you might be thinking that now you might be having a doubt that do I never have a control of where I want to put this newly created element. So always the element is placed at the placed as the last child of the parent means so do I have a control to place it the element where I want it? So for example, if I want to place it as the first child or if I want to place it in the middle after after any other element, if I want to have a control like that means do I have this one or not? So you will be having it out that one. So of course we are having this uh, uh, these things. So we have multiple methods of adding elements like append child is one of the method which we have learned up to now. So there are also some methods that is nothing but insert before replace child. So we need to learn about this one. So insert before and the replace child. Append child, we know this one. The one which we want to look at uh, is the insert before method. The insert before method is a very simple one. So now one, the one which we want to look now is, so if you want to place the element wherever you want is, that is nothing but using this insert before method, we can place the element wherever we want it. So this is the insert before method. So it's a very simple one. Normally it takes the two arguments. So it takes two arguments. The first argument is the element you want to insert into the DOM. The first element is nothing but the first argument is nothing but the element that created element. So whatever the created element you have created using the create element method. So that one will take the first argument. And the second argument is the reference to the sibling you want to precede. So to which element you want to place uh, to, to which element before you want to place it the reference you need to pass it as the second argument. So we'll try to see about this one in a detail in a practical thing. So this is all about the uh, append child. So here in this video, what I want to tell you is a precise over the append child thing. The problem with the not the problem, the problem with the append child, it's not a problem actually. The append child always adds the element as the last child of the parent. So if you want to have a control to dish, uh, to make the element to place wherever I want it means then you need to use some more methods. So there are other methods available which we have discussed it. So that is insert before replace child like that. 
so don't think that insert after method is also there or not so insert after method is not there in the javascript dom so i don't know so why it was not there if insert before is there means insert after also should it will be there we will be thinking but insert after is not there so insert before method is one of the important things so we'll discuss about this insert before method in practical in the next video so hope you understood about this append child thing the problem in the append child and how to overcome this append child uh, the method using the another method that is nothing but insert before hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you